For this project, I'm going to refashion a pair of men's pants that are too big and also too long. I've also got a confession. The thumbnail that you've just clicked on, I have no idea it was going to be that gorgeous. None. The reason being is that I like to be experimental in my work. So as I am filming this video now, I have no idea it's going to turn out the way it does on the thumbnail. Let's get started. I don't know where to start. <laughs> right, okay, my starting point is that I know I want a top and I also want the back of the pants, this button detail here and pocket to be a feature to the front of this top. So I'm going to have to deconstruct no, well not part of the pants. Basically, I'm going to start with removing the front from the back and also the waistband. That is where I'll start. So the first thing I'm going to need is a umpicker. And yeah, let's get opening up these seams. So the next stage now that I've opened up all the way to the waistband on the side seams and also the back seam and start removing this waistband. The front is now being taken away so I'm just going to try this around my body now and see how that feels and how that looks. Okay so here we are. I'm going to put it above my first under my arms. Right, okay, so we're going to cross this over, let's see. Nice. Let's see if I pull this down a bit. Oh, yeah, that's better. So I've got an asymmetrical situation going on here. I'm liking that. I'm even liking this trim here. I'll be concealing it. I might have that exposed. Just that section there. Could I have some more of that exposed actually? Yes, I think I will. That's nice. It's going to be a top, isn't it? So I'm going to come from that point here, so I'll probably cut it about here. So I'm going to sort this out first, and then there's going to be a cut. Yeah. Based, based, machine sew and hand sew and hand sew. All of the hand sewing that I talked about is done. So this is the fastening, this band here. I didn't put the lining into the waistband, it was just too bulky. So I think it looks gorgeous being shown actually, that it's been exposed. So that is gorgeous. And then I've got the zip guard. 
So I've hand sewn that and that is going to go here. So where my markings are, my Teletuxer's markings. So I'm going to sew that in position and have this ice binding, like a Hong Kong finish to a seam edge, to a, a raw edge in like that. So I want this detail to be on the front and I think it's going to be where I was thinking about cutting. This is going to be onto the front of it like so. This is exciting and I, I, I don't know where it's going. Um, but yeah, something like that may happen. Um, I'll probably cut it off about there and I've got that extra bit of a legs to play with. I may have some from the front. They look like little shorts, don't they? Anyway, I've done the hand sewing on this section and it is going to be an apron type top. Yeah, definitely an apron type top. This is what's inspired it. So, this fly from here I'm not liking, so I want to hide it somewhat. So I'm going to create an inverted pleat. Like that, there's an opening there, which I really do love. And create an inverted pleat like that. Now that's more interesting, you can't really tell it's a fly from. So that's gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to do next. There we have the inverted pleat. I do have a dedicated video. I'll link that in the description. Okay, now I need to apply this onto the front of this top. But in order to do that, I'm going to create a little funnel along the waistline here. And I'm adding to this project a belt, a narrow belt, any belt will do. So I'm hoping that I will have, I will definitely have some fabric in order to create a little funnel for this to be threaded through. So you will only see the silver of this belt at the back of this top. So this is the cutoffs from the front of the pants. And as you can see, is shorter than the front so we save that hopefully i can get some sleeves out of this i think and then i am going to cut this in order to create the belt section you know, the section where the belt's going to be threaded through is what i'm going to cut from here Okay, that is now sewn in place. It's then a case of hiding this raw edge and getting the other one and placing that in position. making sure I get all thicknesses and pin so all our raw edge is going to be inside of this waistband section in which the belt will be placed Okay, take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way down. So 
So the band is now sewn. Just show you. So that will just come over and cover that raw edge so it will be nice and neat and professional looking. So that's going to require some hand sewing and, and then this section will be done. It will be done. It's just ready for the belt to be inserted and pressed. Now for the next stage. The final stage. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long project. Well, it's looking good. It really is looking good. So I'm at the final stage of the top where I just need to hand sew the section where the belt is going to be inserted, which is the waistband sort of area, I'm calling it. And then I have the legs of the pants where I'm going to actually make some sleeves, some slip on sleeves situation. So it's going to be off the shoulder. And then I've got these two little bits left which are going to be used as a strap. It's too much there to be used as straps. And I'm also thinking that I will make a casing from what's left over from this once I've made the straps in order to put elastication around the wrist area. And then I'll be done. The project will be complete. But I've still got a lot of hand sewing yet to do. Mm. <laughs> this section, I'm going to to put a marking here that's going to be the straps and this is going to be fabric for the casing Casing is now complete on both sleeves so therefore I've just got this to fold in on itself like that once the elastic has been threaded through so that you can't see it and then the sleeve is ready to be added to the top that's it here's the last bit that I'll be using I'm done it looks super gorgeous I know I'm being biased aren't I um but I'm going to try it on and tell you what I've kept, what I've changed my mind on and the reason why so let's put this belt through this channel here Let's try this on. It is gorgeous. I'm loving it. This contemporary top, contemporary apron top, I'm calling it. Yes. This reminds me so much of my youth. <laughs> this is the sort of thing I, I would be doing and wearing. Oh my gosh. Trip down memory lane. I love this. I like the fact that it even opens out like that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I do like it. These sleeves. It'd be nice if I had. I still want to wear a men's shirt with it. But it'd be nice if I had puff sleeves on men's shirts. You never know. That would look really nice. I'd like the cuffs to be turned back cuffs. We'd like them to be longer to come to about here. I think that'd be nice. So, what I'd, I I put the straps on because remember early on in the video I said I was going to do straps, but it just wasn't. I just wasn't feeling it. I really wasn't. I didn't like it. So I had to have them removed. But this will stay. This is this is going nowhere. It's fine. And I put the straps on the cuffs which I think is a cute feature because I wasn't liking how the elastication the casing was looking on the cuffs so it needed something and this is what it needed it needed the straps so I put those on there 
I think it's gorgeous. We really do. I like the fact that, that the pants section <laughs> opens up a little bit. <laughs> so I'm almost creating like a pants thing situation going on there. If anything, I think I would bring this up just a little bit more. I think it needs to sit just either that or I've got bad, bad posture. But other than that, it's I'm loving it. I am. I love it. I've forgotten to put the um, the second hook on here, and um, which I'm going to do. Wow. Have you seen this though? Well I've done. So I'm wearing men's pants, <laughs> Muslim's pants, and I've actually threaded this belt through the belt loops at the back of the pants. I just think it's just a fun, a fun thing for me to do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I'm loving it. I think I'll even wear a tie with this as well. A tie would look good. Yeah, I think a tie will just break this section up a little bit. But other than that, no, it's good. Loving the sleeves. I'm so loving the sleeves. So I've just attached the sleeves onto the waistband here. And there. And then, yeah. It's not a process, a lot of hand sewing involved, but well worth it. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, please do share. And if you want me to make more contemporary refashion projects, let me know and put that information in the comments below. Do check the comments, do check the description in order to get video tutorials on the different sewing techniques that I have included in this project and yeah that's it thank you for watching see you next time